In this lecture of the tutorial, we are going to deploy a very, very simple contract into our private network. I have already opened browser Solidity, which you can find at ethereum.github.io slash browser dash Solidity. And I've created a very, very simple Hello World contract, which is basically increasing and decreasing a counter with functions and a function which returns the current counter value, which is constant. You will learn more about the syntax of Solidity in the later sections. For now, just take it as given that this is our first Hello World contract. I will take this contract now and I will deploy it into our private blockchain that we have created in the last lecture. I copy the whole source code. I go to my Mist wallet. I still have my geth running in the background with our uh, chain data private blockchain directory, which we initialized with our Genesis JSON file. So I go to my Mist wallet. I even see here that we are on a private network. I go to contracts. This is in German, Verträge, but what you want to do is you go to contracts and you want to click on uh, publish a new contract. This will bring up this window here, where on the top, you select the account you want to deploy the contract from. You don't want to give it any amount of ether. Here is the Solidity source code, which you paste. I want to publish the Hello World contract. And then basically you click create. Then I enter the password. and await for confirmation of my contract. What I have to do in order to confirm the contract is I will open a new command line window or a bash. I will attach to my other uh, Go Ethereum console and I will start the miner again with uh, free threads or else I would have no confirmations. Good. My contract is confirmed and I can uh, stop the miner again. Oh, my contract is not exactly fully confirmed. Let me start the miner again for a second. Okay, now it's uh, fully confirmed. It has uh, over 12 confirmations. Now it has 13 confirmations. And if I go to my contracts on the bottom, I can play around with my contract. My function get counter currently returns zero. I can increase it. I, I could also send some ether to this function, which we will cover in later sections. But for now, I can uh, select one of the functions, increase or decrease. I can increase it, which uh, in itself, which internally is uh, generating a new transaction into our contract. And I have to, of course, when I make a new transaction, I have to enter the password again. Um, I would just let the miner continue uh, running in the background. And now my counter is one and I can increase it again. I have to wait until the transaction is mined and the counter is two. I can decrease it. And the counter gets back to one and so on. In the next lecture, we are going to talk about the things that you should do in order uh, to have everything ready, all the software ready that you will need for the rest of this whole course. There is some software which you will have to run early on because it will take some time to download, especially download the blockchain. 
And this we're going to cover in the next lecture.